Hi! Due to the way YouTube works, I want to make a quick announcement before this video. If you like this video, please consider hitting the like button or leaving a small comment. It really helps. If you feel like helping even more, you can check my Patreon or Ko-fi accounts. All the links are in the description box. Thank you! Greetings! In today's video, I'm taking a look at a fairly unique set of travel watercolors. This set was brought to my attention by my friend Otto Kano. It can be found on Amazon and AliExpress. It's a super compact set featuring 18 colors in a cascading, rotating, super slim format, with room for a mini water brush. The brush has a good sized tip that comes to a nice point. Its reservoir is quite small, I guess in a way so that the brush won't extend too far beyond the set's case, as that would make it less practical. There's a mixing surface on the very top of the case, it's quite small. The brand, as far as I can say, is simply named Superior. The paint trays pivot out of a metal bolt that goes through the case. They move really smoothly and there is no mechanism to keep them clipped into the case while traveling, as far as I can tell. So I decided to use a rubber elastic to secure them in place. The water brush holds really nicely in the space provided for it on the case. I was happy to see that. Overall, this little set feels like it's well made. But the paints, I hear you say. I proceeded to swatch out the 18 colors using the provided water brush. I was surprised to see that most of the colors are super bright and loaded. There's only three colors that felt lighter, one of the blues, a purple, and oddly enough, the black. They were all quite easy to reactivate. I struggled more with getting some water down the water brush. I think it's a nice water brush, it's just that I'm not really good with them. The paints have no smell to them, wet or dry. Looking at the paints, I realized that they don't include any pigment information, or light fastness information for that matter, on the packaging. The colors are labeled by a combination of letter and number. The set I bought is the smallest of those that were available. There was also 25, 33 and 42 colors set. The paint on the trays has a nice feel to it, very much like the texture of Windsor & Newton paint pans. It's dry and not sticky. The paint, on paper, has no special feel to itself either. I tried to paint a scene based on a picture and I wasn't happy with it. It wasn't a great idea to pick a reference with a lot of black elements and shadow areas, since the black in my set is a weak one. It made a mess and didn't layer too well. I felt like this set, for me, would be better suited to journaling than painting studies. When I journal, I use the colors to add more life to my sketches and I don't focus on the reference. I made a few mock-up journaling sketches and used the paints with those. I was much happier with the results. Like I mentioned, I am not used to water brushes and I found it hard to control the flow of water. If anything, the water doesn't flow out enough of this one. It was rather dry, unless I pressed on it, and then it often ended up being too wet. Another thing I noticed is that even if I closed back this set a few times with wet paints on some of the trays, it didn't put paint all over the undersides. 
The worst I got was two trays slightly sticking to one another as I tried to pull them out, but they were easy to separate and no paint had transferred. Overall, I think this is a nice little travel set for journaling and light colors in a sketchbook. It's definitely not a professional art supply, but it's a fun one, and it's also very affordable. It needs an extra rubber band to be perfect to carry around, but that's not really hard to manage. If you want some more info on a similar set, I know that Miki from Malamic Art has reviewed a set that looks a lot like this one. I'll put the link in the description box. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, bye bye. Before I leave, here's a reminder that I have accounts on Redbubble and Society6 for fun things like stickers and mugs, and also an Etsy store, where I sell prints, originals, and handmade paints. Bye bye!